All right, everybody, y'all are now tuned into the Biz with D, and I have a special guest on the line. He goes by the name of Entice. He is an incredible songwriter from The Invaders. What's going on, Entice? What's going on, everybody? Good. Nice on the line. Nothing much. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. Thanks, Oh, definitely, because I've been trying to get you on this show for, like, how long now? Uh, <laughs> it's been a busy, busy, busy time, so just, just good you got me now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and it takes, a, takes some time for me to get a lot of people, but it's cool. You didn't take as All long right. as other people. Well, you know what, let's not go there. Anyway, so tell them, because I'll be ready to start name dropping, but I'm not going to do that, but anyway. Tell the listeners who may not know who you are, tell them a little bit about you. All right, um, let me get a little bit about me. Well, I'm an upcoming songwriter. Um, a lot of people know me for my Nova King remix with Don Rashad. Um, I've been in the studio pretty much writing for a lot of people for the past uh, 11 years, actually, but I just started, started to reach um, a level that I'm comfortable right now. So, yeah, just a little bit around me. Just a writer, producer, grinding. Okay. So you say you started about 11 years ago, correct? Yeah, I pretty much um, interned at Def Jam uh, back when I was in high school. Um, oh, wow. There, uh, it blossomed into actually producing my own records and writing for other people. Um, in the beginning, I used to uh, pretty much write over a lot of producers' work um, before I actually started producing it myself. Um, got to work with a lot of great people, um, Jim Johnson, Caden uh, Sean, who worked with JoJo and Brandy. Uh, I worked with Corey Bowles. Um, just a bunch of different producers that would just pretty much give me their production um, and I would do these songs and that slowly just blossomed into me doing my own production and getting it to the artist. Wow, that's what's up and I have to admit that the invaders, y'all are, y'all are the shit for real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Y'all seriously we are. Keep it real. Uh, we try to keep it real innovative. Uh, to make our sounds stand out a little bit um we definitely want to embrace uh unique elements um that are not necessarily heard on the radio but you know those real good innovative songs that last a long time um but yeah we, we, we try to push the bar right you guys definitely definitely do because y'all music is really out there like on some on some other stuff like it's not like this you know common poppy doppy or r&b stuff like y'all is it's like i just yeah, be sitting back and i'd be like whoa like, we keep it real innovative um we're very inspired by a lot of things that are happening overseas that are not necessarily over here to the state. okay um, so we love to draw inspiration from, you know, a lot of those places um, and just try to keep the music fresh. Uh, we come from the era with uh, Aaliyah and, you know, the groundbreakers came in and changed music. So we try to stay in that pocket versus doing something that's trendy and acceptable right now but doesn't have any longevity. Um, so yeah, that's why we try to keep, you know, it on a creative side. Nice. So what inspires you to, you know, write, write songs? Where do you find the inspiration? It's all a different thing. Um, for instance, uh, I did a song with Dawn Richard from Dirty Money. Um, people know her from Danity King. Um, and one morning we had woke up. And we just was talking about food. And I was like, yeah, we gotta do this song called Grit. 
and all of a sudden she was just flowing like, you know, everybody want to be the flavor of the week, you try to be white bread with everybody's wheat, like, and it was just bugging, and we just started flowing off of that, next thing you know, we had a full blown song using breakfast food that was pretty much talking, you know, aggressively about this industry. Um, and that's just how it goes, you know, and then there's some days that I'm just inspired to write, you know, a uh, ballad or something that is, you know, more heartfelt. Um, it just depends on what the mood is that day, but, you know, I just go off. I'm a, I'm a vibe kind of person, so, you know, if, if that vibe is there, then that's usually what inspires me to write the lyrics. And now, how was it working with Dawn in the studio? She was amazing. Um, she was uh, a very uh, well-trained singer. Um, she reminds me a lot of Brandy. A lot of people compare her to her, um, just her way that she layers her, her harmonies and her counter melodies. Um, she was an amazing vocalist to work with, um, very down to earth. Um, in the studio, um, I had a great time with her. We did quite a bit with her. Um, I don't know what's going to make the project, um, but we did do some hot, hot stuff, all ranging from, you know, some hot stuff to some urban stuff to ballad. Um, we did a lot with her. She was, she was dope. She was dope. That's what's up. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing it because, I mean, she's got pen game. You definitely got pen game, so I. She does. She does. So I'm sure it, it was something creative. Like I know y'all had went live. Of course, it was like about a year ago, and y'all was playing some stuff. I was like, oh, oh. Yeah, a lot of people were there for that U stream. Um, she wanted to keep it real edgy for her. Um, so we did a lot of edgy things with her. Um, I know at one point she was trying to She's definitely got vocals. I can, I can only imagine what, what. Oh, yeah. she, she, she can drop. She can drop. She's dope. She's got vocals. That's the girl. So what other? I know you're working on some new projects. Um, let's talk about these new um, projects that you have in the works right now. Right now, um, I'm really excited about uh, Blake McGrath. He is another artist that I'm working writing for. Um. He, uh, he dropped his last album out in Canada. He signed to Universal Canada. Um, and now he's getting ready to drop his second album, which they plan to come to America um, for this time around. I'm really excited about his project. He did a lot of innovative stuff, um, a lot of cool pockets for his CD. So I'm excited for that. Um, he pulls from a lot of different places, like I said earlier. Everybody's gonna see him in 
a different light than what they got with trying to move his first album. So I'm excited about that. And I mean, Blake is no stranger. He was on Dance Life, MTV's Dance Life, and he's toured, you know, with Janet. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people know him from uh, Three Things to Dance. He was a contestant on there. Um, and then from there, he went on to actually be the judge of Three Things to Dance Canada. Um, and he booked tours with Janet Jackson, Britney Spears, Michael Jackson. Um, So how is it like working with Melody and Ashley? Because I know with Melody, you worked with her on her um, her mixtape. I actually, um, I didn't get to actually play anything on her mixtape. Um, we did touch base about some stuff. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, we met um, on the set of Bobby Newberry um, music video for Dirty Up, um, which was well received. Um, we did the track for him for that feature and just being a toy boy. Um, so that went really well and she was there on the set and kind of was still the song that we did for Bobby so we kind of chopped it up to get the studio. Um, she's dope though. She's very uh, assertive. She knows what she wants to do. Um, you need to pretty much nail her sound because she just not a, a mechanical artist and I'm just going to go in and you know, have everything laid out. She's very hands-on with what she wants to do. So, um, we've got a few ideas. We haven't gotten into the studio to lay anything down yet, but um, I just pretty much moved out here to LA. So, we're looking to get in the studio really soon to get that popping. Same thing with um, Ashley from the Pussy Cat Dogs as well. They're both trying to come in and they're trying to come hard. So, we should be getting in the studio soon. So now, what artists would you like to um, write for that you haven't quite got the opportunity to work with yet? Somebody who I want to work with that I haven't got to work with. Um, I would love to work with Shakira. Um, Shakira, I think she's just edgy and swaggy and like, dope that she has her own way. Um, I feel like she can come out and Everybody knows who she is. She has a distinct voice. Um, so she's definitely somebody who I would want to work with. Um, oh my God, there's so many people. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. A. Marie, I love A. Marie. I love Robin. Um, I, I love uh, so many different people. My goodness, there's millions of people that I would love to rock with. Um, uh, Kelly Rowland, uh, Vieira, um, just so many, there's so many, but definitely the, 
the people who are pushing the bar would be somebody that I would love to rock with, just somebody who keeps it fresh. My favorite in the world was Aaliyah, so mm-hmm. I just really love innovation and people who have a statement when they come through. So definitely some of those people would be built to rock with. Now, I know you're an Aaliyah fan, just from us knowing each other. So, I've got to ask you, what is your um, take on, you know, Drake producing this Aaliyah album? Uh, I mean, I, I love Drake. Uh, I think Drake is dope um, with his material. I, you know, respect his work. Uh, but I do agree that if Aaliyah is going to do anything, you just have to have to know and be a part of it. Mm-hmm. You have to. It's, it's, it's not right to not have them on that project. Um, I just feel like, yeah, Drake's amazing, and uh, the producer that is born in with him to do it uh, all have great work. Um, and I love the fact that he still tries to keep her legacy alive, mm-hmm. but to not have. to agree with what you said that's why i said mm, like I, I agree like i think it's just crazy that you know they're planning on doing it without missy and tim like that's that's ridiculous and then the the family's not really supporting it so it's like what the hell are they really doing you know what i'm saying you can't go forth without i'm, I'm not gonna go there <laughs> i mean i'm sure everybody's trying to figure out a way to work it out that is comfortable for each per- party that is participating in that situation, um, which nobody knows. But yeah, I just think even the fans would love to see Timberland and Missy uh, a part of that project. Mm-hmm. Sure would. So now, who are some of your um, musical heroes? Um, people that I love, love, love. Um, again, I mean, with my favorite in the world. Um, Obviously, Groundbreakers, Missy, uh, Janet, Michael, Madonna, um, Brittany, you know, I love real singers, Jill Scott, uh, you know, Tamia, there's just so many people that have inspired me, um, songwriters, Sean Garrett, amazing, always has been amazing, um, with being a mentor, I always have positive things to say, super humble, I love Linda Perry, uh, the late static major was amazing, um, yeah, there's so many people, you, you can't even name them all, I love Nicole Scherzinger too, she, she's somebody who I would love to rock with too, so mm. funny, I've met all the put together dogs by her, <laughs> but she's dope too. She is. I hope that you meet her because, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, she, she I yes. Because you, because like I said, you and the Invaders, when it comes to the, the production, you with the pen game, it can take, because y'all do really do that international kind of sound. And Nicole, you know, you be seeing her music that she's trying to do that because she's really, she's popping overseas. Not so, you know, so much here and I think that would definitely take her you know her career to the next level working with you guys oh most definitely she's very very popular overseas um and still popular in America too um I mean she had a great run with the Pussy Cat Dog um and you know I think some of her work solo is really dope too so shout out to her if we can get in the studio with you baby girl let's do that Let's do that. Get in the studio with Entice. 
Nicole, if you hear this, because I know somebody that knows you's going to hear this. It, you, you, you know this industry is so small, so somebody that knows her is going to hear it. But anyway. I'm a, I'm a whole hot mess. Here. It's not even it's not even acceptable right now. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Uh, in the next five years, um, I see myself still producing. Um, I would like to just get into uh, building a brand um, and you know just take over what I'm doing with my style. Um, that's what I really want to do. I want to get to a level where you 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 can distinguish my music right when you hear it. Um, I think that other songwriters have that. You know what, you know, their pen game is immediately when you hear a record. You know a Linda Perry record, you know a Diane record, you know a Static record, you know a Sean Garrett record. Like, I want to get to that, that place to where you just know it's my work as soon as you hear it. Um, and that's what I see for myself building that brand um, and doing, you know, what I love to do. That's what's up. Now, speaking of building a brand, I know some people would like to know, and I want to know, when are we going to get a album from Entice? You know, when I was in the studio working on my album, um, I dropped a song called Domesticated. Um, and a lot of people was feeling it. Um, it definitely got me a lot of notoriety um, from a lot of top producers. Um, it just so happened that I ended up having to go into the studio to write for other people. Um, and when you're doing that, you know, it, it, it doesn't allow you to have that free time to do you for yourself. So mm-hmm. I just kind of put that to the side for a little bit. But... You know, that's always still in me, you know, so it will, it will come back around again when we get back on to doing it, but I definitely miss doing some of the things for myself, so hopefully soon I get back into finish the project, but Domesticated, that's, that's the album, and it, it, it's pretty sick. Well, I'm excited and looking forward to hearing it. Your music is dope just in itself. Thank you very much. Not I'm a problem. excited for everybody to hear some of the stuff that I got going on. Yeah, definitely. I, I would Hearing too. Visually, visually as well. I mean, mm-hmm. um, Blake is getting ready to shoot his music video. Um, you know, Bobby, uh, I did Dirty Up. Um, like I said, I'm still in the studio with Bobby. Um, he's getting ready to go in and shoot the next two singles. Um, he's doing back to back. Um, we have Toxic Love that I did for him. We have this other song. Um, it's a club joint. Um, that's really dope. So I'm excited for people to see the visual. I know Christina wants to come, you know, really hard with her visual. We get started with her. We got two crazy ass records with her, two club bands. Um, so I'm excited for people to hear that. I can't wait for them to hear the sound and be able to match it up with the visuals because, you know, each one of them are strong dancers. Um, so it's gonna be nice to drop some of these projects this summer. That's what's up. Now, are you doing some creative direction? Um, I mean, I don't really get into all of that. With them. I mm-hmm. mean, definitely with the Blake project, I'm a little more hands-on. The week, um, discussed a lot that goes into you know just what he's gonna do visually. Um, we definitely vibe with each other about things. Um go crazy with ideas, but uh, for everybody else, you know, they, they, they have teams around them that are working with them, and they, you know, take it to another level when we're done with the music and the bit, so, you know, and most of the time, they're, they're really, really dope with their ideas and taking a great director that can execute their, their idea, so I'm excited with that, that's, that's and that's what's up. I'm definitely proud of all the hard work you've been putting in, and I'm just looking forward to it all. It, I feel like your time is like coming, my friend. Yes, sir. I'm out here grinding. I'm ready to take over. I'm ready to take over with these projects. Get my name out there a little bit more. Um, so 
you'll be hearing a lot from me and seeing a lot of me this year. So I'm looking forward to that. Shoot, I'm just, I hope that we can hear more of your stuff on my project. I'm just simply saying though. No. <laughs> definitely, definitely. We need to set aside some time so we can get in the studio and, and rock. Yeah, because you, you, yeah, you know my, because mm -hmm, you know my sound and what I'm trying to go for, so. Yeah, we got to make right, this happen. Right. But. Let's do that. Let's <laughs> do that. Off here, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that. <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't be giving no preview conversations here. But anyway, thank you so much for coming on this show. I really do appreciate it, and know that you are welcome to drop anything on here. And it's your personal song, a remix from one of the artists you're working with, a record from them. Send it my way. Right, right. We will do that. You'll definitely see me. I'm gonna try to do some new stream. Um, with a lot of these um, artists that we're working with. Um, make sure y'all follow me on Twitter at I-N-T-Y-C-E-Y-O-U. That's been tight you. Um, and keep in touch with me. Um, I have a Tumblr that pretty much is updated every time. Um, see, see what I'm doing in the studio. And I'm going to be dropping for bombs pretty soon. So I'm definitely about to drop some things. Um, with these artists and get this ball rolling. So I want everybody to look out for that. Um, shout out to y'all for having me on the show and embracing my team, the invaders. I don't do this by myself. I have my cousin works with me um, and we do all this together. I saw him right, he does music. So, you know, shout out to y'all for embracing us on this show. And I hope y'all enjoy some of these records we want to drop. Not a problem. Anytime. You know you are always welcome. We are fam. You more than welcome than any. You know what? I I'ma stop. Not, not not today. Not today. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm a I'm a whole hot mess. But 